Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode uh, here on the farm. Today we're going to be taking a look at the useful cows. Let me take you out here. I've been doing some work on a floor plan for our barn for useful cows. Um, just kind of show you what I'm planning on here uh, and then we'll start moving cows over and kind of exploring some of the things that we can do with this. So let me grab this here real quick. I was using that for testing purposes. Let me grab a sewer. I think we should have an extra sewer. We do. Awesome. Okay, now I haven't tested the sewer out yet to see if my plan for the sewer will work, but everything else should work just fine. Okay, so the plan is the animal uh, baby separator goes here facing this direction and when I turn on the show area it's right in front of it right it's the two blocks it's two blocks tall and it's right in front of it now if I put a tier 11 range add-on in here that will cover a, a three by three area of three by threes exactly so I could be a little bit more efficient and take out the walls here and wrap that up but I would like to keep the cows in their specific rooms like this okay and so what the idea is that the animal baby separator will take a look at this entire area and um, if there are any babies in there it will pull them out into the canal I'm gonna grab one more thing here I think it's called the feeder animal feeder awesome so these are the three machines we're gonna be using uh, you've seen me use these before right over when our useful cow well our regular normal vanilla cows were over here and we were uh, using them over there okay so the sewage the sewer is gonna go right here in the middle and then our feeder is gonna go right here okay now let's take that range add-on uh, I'll kind of explain to you my plan for the babies here in a minute okay let's turn that off and we'll turn this on and give it a range upgrade. This will, oh my goodness. So we don't need a tier 11. <laughs> so let's try, a, let's try a different tier for that one. Uh, so at least we know that we won't need quite a bit as big for that one. Let's turn that off. Actually, we'll leave it on. Uh, this one, let's turn this on and stick our tier range 11 on there. So this is going to be our feeder. This is exactly the same. Uh, the feeder will feed all uh, three, all, I'm sorry, all nine uh, cow pins. The, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go to like tier nine and see what that's like. Here, let's go make one real quick. See if I have the materials. I feel like the tier 11 with, with our setup, the tier 11 is cheaper for us than the tier nine. Now let's actually just make one first. Uh... Here we go. Oh, diamonds. Yeah, that's no big deal. Uh, do I not have plastic? I do not. Let's make two plastic. That's going to take a second. It's got to cook them. Um, there we go. Here's our tier nine. Let's put that in, and we may, we'll definitely, if this is the correct um, tier for this sewer, range then we'll just make a, a pattern for it okay nope still too, still too big I feel like it's exactly the same as the tier 11 nope it isn't <laughs> that's very very large okay let's try a 7 we'll just go down by 2 let's see what the 7 costs I wish I could get rid of that that's okay uh, seven's going to take gold. And we don't have any gold. Let's make two plastic. And let's make six gold. Okay. There's our gold. We should be able to click that and get our range seven. Okay. Let's put this in here and see if this is the correct... Nope, still too big. Wow. So how far is that going down? 
I wonder. It feels like it's you if I go down two, it's going down by maybe two uh, radius. Looks like we need to go down even more. So five is gonna be bronze. Okay, so I knew I needed to make some plastic. And I like that we can make bronze. We'll just do six. Okay, here we go. Let's try that. I should have did this off camera, but it's okay. At least we're learning. The sewer can handle a very, very large area. Okay, yeah, so five is the perfect for that. So my plan is to have one sewer, um, one feeder, and one baby animal separator. Animal baby separator? I forget which way it is. Yeah, I think it's animal baby separator. Um, for each set of nine, okay? So there's a, a double wall here to, to break off another set of nine pins and then yet another set of nine pins. Uh, I didn't plan this out as far as like how many useful cows there are. Again, I don't remember how many there are. I know how many I have and how many there potentially are and I'm just, I just make stuff for fun. So if you're looking at this and you're saying, hey, but that doesn't add up to how many there actually are, it's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> um, if there's more than, than this, so this is uh, 27. And then if I mirror that on this side, that's going to be um, 62, or sorry, 64 cows, useful cows. I don't know how many there are. If, if there's more than that, we can extend this down uh, to make this a little bit longer. So the idea then is um, that we're going to be bringing the baby cows to a specific area, right? Um, right now I've got it set up in the middle. I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be doing that uh, in the middle or if I'm going to put it down on one side or the other. I'm probably going to put it down on one side uh, over here. So like that's the entrance. I'm going to bring all the baby cows down to this side and um, slaughter them there. So the idea is that there's going to be uh, animal baby separators, like I said, one in each spot. And then we're going to be using these conveyor belts. Okay, um, The conveyor belts are pretty cool. We haven't seen them in use yet. Uh, but basically, they work like... Uh, here, let's just make a couple. I'll show you. And I put a, magna, a mega torch underneath our barn there so hopefully nobody spawns uh let's put in a recipe for it uh, why isn't that giving me a uh oh right because of that okay here we go so here's our pattern and we'll just make a couple uh, i guess it makes four so conveyor okay this is gonna have to cook second uh, but we got some upgrades here um, extract conveyor belts uh, detector bouncing dropping blinking whatever that means and splitting I don't think I'll be using any of those uh, let's sleep real quick just to get rid of the, the mobs that are out there or just get rid of the night, but it shouldn't matter. Um, yeah, it shouldn't matter because <laughs> we got the mag mega torch out here. Okay, so the conveyor belts, how they're going to be set up? Let's see if let's see how they work. I think if I they point at the direction I'm looking. Okay, so conveyor belts are going to be set like this. Okay, so any baby cows that come here, they're going to be transported over. Now the conveyor belts in uh, the mine factory reloaded, which is what industrial foregoing is made after, um, dealt with baby cow mechanics very well because um, baby baby animals in general will travel to be with their parents. Uh, they will they will try and so like let's say that we've got two parents here. We've got our our gold cows here, right? They make a baby cow, they get pulled over here. Well, that baby cow is going to immediately head this direction to be with mom and dad. 
um, if the conveyor belt pulls in this way and they're not designed properly, that baby cow will fight the conveyor belts and try and uh, be with parents. So what's going to happen is, is we're going to have um, another baby animal separator right here. Okay. And what's going to happen is um, this conveyor belt is going to be pointed this direction. And all of these other conveyor belts are going to be pointing in this direction. Okay. So they're all going to, all the babies are going to end up right here. And we're going to have a baby animal, se animal baby separator right here with no, no range upgrade on it. We might put a couple just so that it, it has this three by three area, just in case there's more than one and they get stuck or something. Um, maybe we'll put like one upgrade in there. So that way any babies that get pulled in, in this direction, will be funneled to this spot and then they'll be pulled in here. So that'll be the entire farm, right? They'll be all funneled down like this, all funneled down into here. And then all of the babies for both sides will be put into this middle area. So we'll have a slaughter uh, house right here that's going to only kill the, the adult animals. And uh, once they grow up, they'll get killed, and we'll have all of our drops right here. So that's the plan. So I'm going to make a couple. Uh, I'm going to move my cows over here. going to make... Uh, Actually, I'm going to put several cows in this area here. I'm going to make the proper... Let's, I'm just going to leave this upgrade here. Um, make sure that's the right one. Yep. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more... One more range, range upgrade. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more uh, things, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's head back out got I believe I've got everything I need made a bunch more of these conveyor belts that actually took a while uh, let's put a range upgrade in here did I put it back did I seriously <laughs> oh man I thought I grabbed everything it's okay um, oh no I didn't I put it I put it in the other in the feeder and range made I did make a second one okay now I think we're ready to go. All right, so let's put these down, these conveyors, and I'm actually gonna go this direction with them. So we'll do, and I'm really actually curious to see how this works. Um, but I need to put up, finish this wall here so these babies don't get out when they come in here. Um, not that I have uh, a way to do that just yet, but um, <clears throat> I am curious to see how they how they will operate. What I should do is I should go make uh, another baby animal separator. I, th I might actually have a couple. I think I made a, I think I made an extra one when I, when we first started, cause I didn't understand, um, animal baby separator. Yes. Okay. The rancher is going to be for killing. And then I thought there was a, what is it called? Adult filter. good okay so that's gonna be for the rancher so let's go place some of these down and see if we can get this working I'm gonna go with regular cows first uh, right there we'll put our rancher here up oh, animal baby separator here and we'll put a range add-on there that should cover that area there. So any babies that come into this range, they're just going to get plopped on over here. Cool. Now the rancher is going to go right here and we're going to need to put an upgrade in that for sure so that it can reach this whole area. Uh, but for now, we'll just, we'll just leave that alone and we'll put a range upgrade in there. That should be the whole area. Sweet. Okay. We've got all the ranch, all the, uh, pieces in place. Does this adult filter not go in here? I thought it did. What did I make this for? 
does the animal rancher only work oh right that's not the one I want I don't want the animal rancher I want the slaughterhouse <laughs> whatever that's called all right I do believe there we go industrial fort going we're gonna need this plant gatherer don't want the animal rancher mob crusher no I don't think that's the one we want is it you know I think we're gonna have to pull out the book because I don't remember so animal husbandry baby separator animal feeder rancher is the yeah it must be the okay must be the slaughter the mob crusher now can the mob crusher adult filter okay cool so yeah this is this is the one that I want and we will need an upgrade for this but for now we'll just stick it here put the adult filter in it that way it doesn't kill the babies if they wander over there and we are ready to go okay so what I need to do now is uh, set up my I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger yeah uh, okay so I'm gonna set up the controller here and I did not bring uh, a power a power deal so we're gonna go underneath uh, a couple just like this so we want to get underneath that uh, sewage okay here we go we'll put a connector to next to that there we go put a light down here so nothing spawns and of course I didn't bring uh, <laughs> I didn't bring any cables because I am good at this game okay we'll have to block that off at some point I have to come up here too early nope too late <laughs> okay there it is right there let's put this all back there we go we'll come back down here actually let's put all this back too that way it can start growing and then we'll put uh, some lights in here no we didn't need to go that far Put some lights here, put a connector on that, and then we'll come over here, uh, see if I can target this correctly. I'm going to say right there. What is that blackness? Oh, that's a conveyor belt. Okay, so I was one too late again. <laughs> right there. All right, let's put all this back. There we go. And we'll put a connector there. And let's run and grab some cable. We'll hook all this up. Grab a power supply, a power cell. Um, I'll need one, two more connectors. Maybe three more connectors. All right. We'll let that cook and then we'll grab some cables. I think I'll need, ooh. Okay, good. There, grab some some cables. All right, now let's head back and s oh, power supply. Yep, I remembered. Power cell, and then let's grab a range. I don't think I'll need one that big. I'll figure out the range. Let's try a range one upgrade 
I think that'll give us, okay, so this is three, four, range two is what we need, five. Okay, so um, plastic, this'll be for the, uh, the mob crusher. I believe that's how it works. So this goes three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, radius, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14 radius. So I think you just take the range plus two. I'm, pff, I could be just talking smoke. All right, let's see if that actually is true. If I actually figured this out or not. Okay, so if I put this tier two add-on in there, show area. Nah, see, that's too big. I needed the, the range, the range one, uh, the, yeah, tier one range, bummer, okay. Well, we won't go back for that. Let's go back underground, though, and head over to... Okay, so I know... Conveyor belt, wall. Put some lights down here so you can see what I'm doing. Hey, I like that stuff. Sorry, a little sidetrack there. <laughs> and let's see let's try there nope there it is man I was super close okay we're gonna put um, this back here and we'll put connector there so then we're gonna go uh, one two two come over here that's uh, one, two, three. Should be right here. Yeah. Okay. And we'll put another connector there. Now let's run some cable all the way. bring this one over here all right so now everything should be oop, everything should be connected once I get this over here all right and I'm gonna put the power cell underneath just like that set everything out and I think this is one of the ones that had power in it sweet okay so let's delete this and we will extract energy out of here and put energy in all of these. Okay, so let's name these. Uh, shoot, I gotta go back underneath there. I should have named them while I was there. Um, I don't know what to name them though. Uh, let's name this the uh, which direction are we facing? Okay, this is northeast. Let's name this the northeast feeder. Okay, this is going to be the northeast sewer. And this will be the, uh, here, northeast, uh, Animal baby separator, ABS, until it breaks. <laughs> okay, uh, we'll name this one the um, which direction is this? East, east, east. Animal baby separator, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna name this one. Obviously, we don't need to name that. All right, I have mobs underneath me that are making noise. So let's come back up here and we will, so this is the Northeast Animal Baby Separator. That's this one. So I'm gonna name these in quadrants. This is the Northeast Quadrant. This is going to be the East Quadrant and the Southeast Quadrant, okay. Turn that back off, okay. 
So then this is the east east, meaning that I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll just I'll just have to remember that. Uh, mm -hmm. So now what I'm going to do is um, plug some cows in. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the sewer, or any of these things yet. I don't know that I don't know that it was important that I named those. Now that I'm thinking about it, uh, let's pull some cows over. I don't think I have any extra ones in here. I used to have 60 something levels and then I made a bunch of golden lassos. So let's grab two of those. Go back out and grab our cows. And let's grab some wheat while we're here. I'm not shears. Wheat. Yeah, I'm saying it funny, I know. Wheat. I don't know, I started watching some... I don't remember who it was. I was watching somebody, and they always called it... They always put the, like, the part sound to it. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So I started doing it myself. All right, we'll put that in there for now, and let's grab the vanilla cows. Put them in here. We'll put them here for now. Okay, they're going to be fed. They're going to make a baby. Baby's going to be pulled out and stuck down here. Now, this should pull them out and stick them in here. Perfect. Cool. It's not actually trying to find its mom. That's amazing. Okay, so now he'll grow up. And let's grab, let's grab a diamond cow. Because I, I definitely want the diamond cows. Stick you there. And we'll stick you there. Oh, and they're going to be fed automatically. Make a baby. The baby's going to get pulled out. Come down here. And get made. Okay. Perfect. This is all working. Let's do all the important cows. Uh, I've got gold cows down here. Okay, they're going to mate, make a baby, which gets pulled out super fast and stuck in there. Great. This is working very well. Of course it does. <laughs> it should. I mean, it's it's that's how it's that's how it's designed to work. I love how it just sucks the babies out. That's fantastic. All right, and let's do Lapis next. Now, I've had several cows die on me, and I don't know why. I think um, some of them have, like, restrictions on how they can be stored. Uh, for example, the magma cows um, cannot be in rain or else they'll die. And that makes sense because, you know, rain water falling on uh, on magma is going to turn it into uh, something else. Uh, let's do... I'm going to kind of hold off on the rest of these for now. Uh, we have plenty of pens for all of the cows that we currently own, so we're going to be operating just one side here for, for the time being. Um, but we will start automating all of this. So let me go grab another upgrade for this, the tier one upgrade, uh, because that will be useful for us. Um, and I don't know that I have a way to make the, the uh, range. Have I automated the tier one upgrade? No. So let's do that because we're going to need a couple of those. No, we're not either. We're just going to need one. <laughs> it's okay. We can afford it. Uh, let's put some of this back. And we'll come in and... Uh, yeah. Okay. 
put this in here and wait for these cows to grow up and they will start being slaughtered so let's look at the range for this that's perfect so five by five area is the range one now we know okay so this guy's working this guy's on and he's gonna be producing essence uh, do these guys produce anything no they don't this guy we know produce collects sewage from everybody and it's so full already uh, so we need to be uh, handling that, which we will be doing in our main area here. So I grabbed the sewage composter. We're going to be handling that there. So what I think I will do is I'll just I'll move this down to the back side of the of the barn. And so my only my only hang up here, right, is that I can't walk in and see these guys. So what I think I'll do is I'll leave this uncovered here, and we'll have. Uh, kind of some stairs that go up probably here and we can kind of walk along here and, and take a look at all of our cows if we need to um, this will be all inside so this is gonna be the outer wall here uh, and I'll be able to walk around and check my feeders and make sure that they're working correctly uh, these pillars here are just for feeders feeder location uh, we'll just take that out and put one down at the bottom yeah so this is gonna be the outer outer wall and Maybe I'll make this come out one here, just like that, just like that. And that'll go all the way around. Um, but yeah, I'll move all these cows over here, uh, finish creating the second side. Um, I'll wait for these cows to grow up. And I don't know if there's like a cow bone meal or something or an animal bone meal. <laughs> We can just make these guys grow a little faster. I don't probably. Yeah, there is, right? So there's, um, what? Well, what was it? What was it that that helped animals grow faster? There was something, wasn't there? I'm excited all of a sudden. <laughs> I mean, we don't we don't probably need it, but it'd be cool to to do it, right? Um, animal feeder, rancher, animal grower. Yes, when provided with power and breeding food, it will feed baby animals to make them grow faster. Well, that recipe, um, grower. I'm not sure that I know how to make any of this stuff. Okay, gold gear, I do know how to make. And purple, I do have to know. How to, I do know how to make. Awesome. All right, so let's make actually this real quick, and then we'll put this recipe in. Yep, perfect. It it took the ones that we know how to make, and I know I know how to make all of that other stuff. So we could put the animal grower. Uh, right next to, and we'll so we'll do a another range one update, uh, uh, add on, whatever. <laughs> and let's we do have a connector, so we can go ahead and run that. Cool. All right, let's go set this up. I wonder how many of these it takes. Ooh, so I had to do that quick because those those baby cows will get out. Put a connector there. Oh, well, here's my mega torch. So we'll put that down one more. All right, awesome. And. Oh, I can just walk right through it. That's cool. <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. Okay, that's connected now. I really should go down there and find those mobs. I wonder why they're spawning. Because there's a... Probably because they were there before I put that, that mob spawner in. Okay, we'll put energy into there. Grab some of this wheat. And let's, let's take a look at our range. 
Okay, that's one, obviously. Range one, perfect. Okay, we can turn that back off. Put some wheat in there. Oh, look at all these, dude, it's it's duplicated. Um, oh wow, it fed them already. That takes a lot of food. That takes a lot of wheat. Okay, I thought maybe one, one would grow them? No. Okay, we do have a lot of wheat, uh, but we don't have any fields, any of our crops that are currently automating that at the moment, so we should be careful with it, not waste a whole lot. Nothing's happening. I don't think it works on these guys. It's not even working on the on the uh, normal cows. So maybe we won't use that. Wow. Breeding food. It will grow. It will feed baby animals, make them grow faster. And it doesn't give me any more information than that. Hey, this doesn't work. <laughs> That is bizarre. Okay, well, we'll just let them grow up naturally. And we'll use our um, food over here where it matters more. Yeah, I'm not going to put any more than that in there because that's going to produce us quite a lot of resources. Okay, well, I'm going to cut here again. And uh, once I see these guys start growing up, then... Uh, I'll bring you back. Or maybe once they're killed. I, I mean, you, you probably know what they're going to drop, right? <laughs> I was just kind of hoping what some of them would grow sooner than later. But I'm going to move all these guys over and finish building this and be back shortly. Okay, the last piece of our puzzle is going to be the ender chest here. And we will plug that into our uh, system over here. And uh, let's see, let's put it, I mean, we might as well put it right next to this, right? Uh, put a connector, put our ender chest. Actually, let's take a look. We've gotten quite a lot of stuff already, so that's going to fill up. So we come over here, and we're going to create an item, right? And we're going to extract from our... Uh, mob crusher. I'm going to extract everything. I'll stack it once and we're going to put it all into here. Okay. That should make everything in there go away. <laughs> this is crazy. This is amazing. We're going to be getting lots of good stuff from this. So I put in over, uh, I moved all the, the cows that I had over from over here to over here. Um, put some coal cows over here. Put the obsidian cows over here, that way we're getting coal, obsidian, some of a lot of the more useful things. Some of these other things over here, I'm not sure, the chocolate cow just gives us like cocoa seeds, snow cows are going to give us snowballs. Uh, sponge cows would be really useful. I'm not sure what the morph cows give us, um, but we will, we will see. Uh, some sand cows, golden apple cows would be very useful, so this is like kind of useful stuff. And then over here is pretty useless things. I'm not sure. Pink cow is just going to give us like pink wool. Pink powder is going to give us like concrete. Uh, book cow would be pretty interesting. Uh, and a cactus cow would be pretty useful. So, um, yeah. Overall, I think these cows are pretty useful. Some of these things we might uh, weed into... Um, separate chests, kind of like we do for our farm over there. Uh, but that is it for now. Uh, I'm going to be doing some work between episodes, uh, maybe. It is the evening for me. I'll be heading to bed here pretty soon. I'm just going to let this run overnight and kind of see what we get as a result of this, uh, which should be, I mean, we should be able to have just lots and lots of stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to let this run overnight. We're going to run that that feeder out um, and tomorrow morning maybe before I do any more work here we will deal with the um, 
the sewer here. And yes, I will put a cow in the middle here. I'm not leaving that blank just because it's the sewer. Um, if I find a cow that I want more of, more resources, like the sponge cow, I probably might put the sponge cow in there. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow morning we'll deal with that and a couple other things. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I will catch you tomorrow. Uh, you have a great night. Take care. Bye-bye.